Hi guys, we're back at Smash Fishing. We've got Sam with us tonight. Yeah. We're going out with the floats for the horse mackerel and normal mackerel. And hopefully we can catch a conger in between or even a lobster. We're going for it all. It's Smash Fishing, baby. Woo! Maximum scent. <laughs> There's the crab pot guys, we've got a nice big mackerel there chopped into pieces so it releases all of the scent. Got two entrances, we've caught quite a lot of different stuff in this so always exciting at the end of the trip to pull it up. We've got the float set up here for the horse mackerel. Just three dropper loops, little bits of sand deal, wait on the bottom. Hopefully they're around tonight. We've got some chum and we're going to throw out a nice big conga bait as well. Just see if there's any monsters around. What rig are you going for, Sam? Um, a three hook flapper rig. Oh, haven't felt tied the hooks on yet. I'm still making it. Almost there. Almost there. Got a nice big float on guys. Hopefully we can catch these fish. I've just caught a tiny little pollock. I was too embarrassed to show on camera. So hopefully we can get some bigger ones. Such a peaceful day today. Or well, coming into evening, should I say. Check that out. Flat calm sea. We've got no wind whatsoever. And we're fishing for anything. Can't beat a night like this. Check Sam out with his massive fish, guys. Rise catch of the night. Look at that specimen pollock right there. <laughs> This is how we're dispensing our chum because we forgot the uh, the spoon for it. It actually works really well, this. We've got three tins of tuna in here. Sam's caught a rockfish. He actually got a fish. I got a... Oh, he's got a nice pollock. <laughs> I was there roasting him and he's actually got a nice fish. Watch those hooks. Hey, <laughs> check that That's out. a little bear. <laughs> yeah, biggest fish of the night. Yeah. I was there joking as well. He actually had a fish on. Fair play. Look at that guys, lovely little juvenile pollock. Check the parasites on the top of this guys. One little one there, look at that big one. Oh, he doesn't like that. He's buried into the brain. Oh, it's gross, oh, that's gross. Oh, look at that, not much of a mark. Yeah. Let's get him back, we'll catch him now. when he's 12 pound. <laughs> look at that, straight down. Jump. So peaceful to watch, eh? Do you reckon they're hunting? It's like they're trying to roll something up, eh? The yacht's freaking out. <laughs> oh no, you're gonna get hit by a dolphin. I thought they hadn't to play with it. Yeah. Go on, boys. It's just a kid that, like. <laughs> The kids are never going to forget this one on that boat. Target species acquired. We've got our first horse mackerel as soon as that sun went down. 
It's like clockwork, they started biting. Lovely. It's not a bad size that one. If we get any really big ones, we may even cook some tonight. Lovely fish. It's a good note, they grunt. It's quite funny when you get a few of them and they're all grunting together. It's like a music sound. Hey, the fish are coming in thick and fast. That was next drop. Got a Megalodon Pollock. That's a lovely size horseback for that. All jokes aside, that's a decent size one, that. That'd be perfect to stick on the barbie, sir. Definitely. Ah, grunting away. Lovely little fish. Beauty. Fish on. <laughs> they get such a good scrap on light gear, these things. Look at that beauty. Another one down. Just had a few taps on the conga rod, so hopefully we can get a big fish while we're smashing all these things. <laughs> Oh no, that's a lovely one. That's got to be biggest one of the night right there. Grunting away. Prime bait, great eating. I must have a couple on this one. I tighten my drag. <laughs> Is there two or three? Two. There we go. That's more like it. <laughs> Fill the bucket up. <laughs> nice. Like I say guys, these are so valuable in bait. That's why we do this. There's thousands of them around. All you need is a bucket of charm and some small hooks. Go on, Sam. Oh, two of them. Oh. Sam had two hooks on, two fish. Seems like we've struck them nice tonight. We're picking up quite a few. We want as many of these as we can because we're going to try and do a shark trip eventually. And fingers crossed we can catch. So we need lots of chum, lots of bait. Sam's getting a bite from a conga. Hopefully we can hook him. I missed one twice before. Oh, he's still there. He's got him. Straight in the mush. Heavy. He might be in the weed a bit. Nice. There you go guys, nice little whip there, Sam's just had, what was that on, half a mackerel? Half a mackerel, yep. Nice, it's not a bad fish that. Not a bad start. There you go mate, easy on hooking as well. Perfect. I just pulled Sam's rod up before because he was getting bites and he had a horse mackerel as well. <laughs> Loading up on fish tonight, look at the floor. that out catching quite a few now guys we're gonna need the bucket soon we're definitely saving some money in bait and get some valuable food as well some nice ones here as well eh mate yeah it's really nice nice ones Solid. to cook up as well we're gonna be fishing late tonight because we're gonna catch as many as we can and then uh, I'll be doing a cook tomorrow morning oh my god I'm that side oh there's got to be two on here it's quite heavy it's a big one it's a big one Lovely one. That's more like the Captain Cook size, eh? Definitely. Beauties. Not quite a pound, but about three quarters of a pound. Perfect size. Those are the ones you want to be eating with horse mackerel. We found out last year that these taste absolutely delicious. So happy days. Let's load up with some bait. Oh, <laughs> oh he's done. Oh no, he's not. I'm a... <laughs> I must have had two on then. I thought something pop off. Have you got one? One fish. What, what type of fish is that? Horse mackerel. Horse mackerel. Yeah, you're close. What? Is it gone? Yeah. Did you be able to grab it, mate? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I've got no batteries in my head torch. Go on, Sam. Oh, he's in. <laughs> oh, nice. Two on that one. <laughs> That's what it's all about. We've started to gather up quite a few fish here now, guys. It's literally relentless. We've got about 20 in the bag. We're hoping for literally 100 would be great. So we've got freezers that we're just going to try and fill up. And then any big trips we do for the bigger species, 
we've definitely got bait for. That's what it's all about. When the weather's good, we've just got to be ready for it. That's a good amount of fish right there. <laughs> Hide in shape. What's that you've got there? It's a massive pollock. <laughs> Look, guys, it's it huge. Come a bit closer, I can't quite see it. Shallowed up the float a little bit. <laughs> Straight away, first cast, eh, Sam? Yeah, nice Three one. Three days. They're getting bigger as the night goes on. Here in grunting. Nice. Come on, you beauties. So, Sam, what do you reckon is going to be in the crab pot? We've got half an hour till we pull it. Ooh, um... I reckon we've got... Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Good morning, Rod. <laughs> I think you do as well. <laughs> I reckon there's a lobster in it. I reckon there's a there's keeper nice, lobster. Nice keeper lobster. There's, there's so many lobsters around lately. That uh, I've got a sneaky suspicion. Maybe even a brown crab. I reckon we might even have a conger in it, you know? Ooh, getting There's serious. been a couple of little wheels around tonight. Oh, I like the style. Ah, not the big one, that. Nice. Not as big as the one we had on the wreck, though, eh? That was huge. That was a monster. That uh, there. Perfect size for eating that. Lovely size fish. Beautiful. What's been working best today is just tiny little nuggets of sand deal. As you can see, in my little tuna tin, I'm just cutting them. They're no thicker than my little finger. And this is all we're using. This seems to be getting them every drop. You can use pieces of fish skin for this or any other bit of fish, to be honest. They're not that fussy. Pieces of mackerel. You can load up quite a few. middle of the night as well and look at that a nice fresh mackerel there that's going on we're gonna do a taste test tonight guys horse mackerel versus mackerel which one tastes better leave it in the comments you got a couple on there mm -hmm. nice bringing them in Sam. bringing them in bringing them in stacking the bait Coming in on that chum now, guys. Beautiful size ones as well. They're getting bigger. I can see a, a big, crab. big brown crab. What else? That's a nice brown crab. No lobsters. No? Nope. That's a nice brown crab. Big one. It's not a bad one at all, that. Those hooks got me a beauty. Cut my finger. Nice size brown crab there guys. Big female, softy, you can see how white it is. Definitely not worth taking. Feel I like that it's uh Wow, yeah. It's definitely a legal crab, but a crab like that that's really soft, there just won't be much in it. Nice to see though, lovely. What else have we got? A lady crab. It's the thing with having crab pots, you never know what you're gonna get. There you go, what a beauty. Adios. Oh. Not going to be fishing for much longer. Look at that, one of the last ones of the day. Nice brown crab in the crab pot, no lobsters. We've had a fun night on the last of the floats, eh, mate? Oh, definitely. Bit of relaxing float fishing, watching dolphins chase boats. It's quite cool on the fishing trip. Everyone counts on, the, on these last dying minutes. It has been pretty good action all night, eh, mate? Yeah, can't we've complain. Had, we've had very brief windows of no fish about. 15 minutes and they all come back again it's awesome power of the chum power of the chum if you chum they will come sam stole my fish 
Snooze you lose. Snooze, snooze you lose. Yeah, mate, I'll get it off for you while you go catch another one. Thank you. So there we go, guys. There's the end result. We've got one mackerel that we're going to do a catch and cook with, and we've got 40, well, 39 horse mackerel. Perfect. So that's going to go a long way in bait. That's probably four trips there. The boy was determined and he got him. Last I fish of the him. night. Finally. Happy days. Go home. You got it out of your system. <laughs> Only took you 25 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely fish. Well done, mate. Cheers, good mate. little trip, that, eh? Really good trip, yeah. Happy days. One little conga, we missed a few. We got a bucket full of fish there. We had, what, a brown crab? Brown crab, yeah, little lady crab. Happy days. What nice. a trip. I'll see you in the kitchen for a cook-up, guys. What a sesh. So there we go guys, we've got our fillets. This is the horse mackerel, this is the mackerel. The amount of meat difference is very apparent. <laughs> so what we're gonna do, keep it really simple and just shallow fry this with a bit of salt and pepper and flour. And we'll see what they taste like, see which one's better. So all of our mackerel's all floured up, loads of salt and pepper. All we're gonna do is fry this now. Plain and simple, just to get the real taste. Nice old fish breakfast. And all the carcasses will go in my crab pots. So there we go guys, we've got our taste test, we've got the horse mackerel and then we've got the normal mackerel. I know for sure the normal mackerel is going to be a lot stronger tasting than the horse mackerel. I, I found last time I had this it was a bit like bream. You can get nice big flakes off it but you just don't get a massive amount of meat off one. What oh, hot. Got such a good flavour though. It does taste a, a hell of a lot like bream. Mmm. Can't beat a few boneless fillets of mackerel. Whether horse mackerel or normal mackerel. Look at that. I left the skin on the normal mackerel because it crisps up so nicely. Delicious. Yeah, the normal mackerel is definitely a hell of a lot more fishy than what what this is. This is this is just like eating bream. It really is. Mmm. Got great flavour to it though. I'm surprised this isn't eating more to be honest. Definitely not a trash fish. Mmm. Oh, can't beat fresh fish. What's it? Lunchtime, we got some fresh fish. Mmm. That's so good. So stay tuned for the next episode, guys. I won't leave us any longer. If you want any merch that I'm not wearing, the link's in the description. This one was really tasty. Nice to do a little bit of a comparison. If you want to see more uh, fish comparison, just leave it in the comments. I'll see what you want to maybe rockling and wrath or anything like that. Just mixing it up a little bit. So stay tuned. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe. There's going to be plenty more to come. It's Smash Fishing, baby. Woo!